looking for something to fill my time and found it. And then I like the competitive nature of it because with most disability sports I've played, I found you get to a certain level and that's as far as you can go. I don't think a lot of people know about it and it's not very well promoted. Um, but actually, um, it's a very competitive sport. It's played at international level. There has been several World Cups. You can probably see from the guys behind, they're having a great time. Um, they're really getting into their sport. And some of them have never participated in an active sport, either individually or as a team sport. So this is a real enabler. It really brings the community together and really gives them some, some real opportunities to, to have that fun and to score a goal. And, and that's, that's hugely important um, to some of the players' self-esteem. Hi, my name's Liam Nichols, and I'm one of the Power Chair Football Coaches at Cheltenham Power Chair Football Club. Um, I've been involved in the team for six months, and uh, having a disability myself has really helped me to understand the players' needs. Not being able to play traditional football, uh, there's not much of an alternative. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's brilliant. There's there's a lot of uh, a lot of issues with sport for disabled people. Um, there's a lot of investment in traditional sports, um, and that, there's obviously a lot of people that don't have that opportunity. As part of our sports relief for Sainsbury's, I thought it would be a good idea to get on the bandwagon and promote a good, worthy cause. It means a lot to see the youngsters getting the fun out of it and us having a go and seeing how hard it actually is to do. Up until now, of organising this, I didn't even know it existed. And it's a good sport for kids that have got nothing else, and adults that have got nothing else, nowhere else to go. So it's, it's good for us to get behind it. Once you see them play, we you see their commitment, you'll see how easy it is to want to be involved. We've got to take it for that these guys have got nothing else to do. This is the only competitive sport they can play. So we want to take this further, we want to raise its profile and get everybody able to play the sport. It's just exciting the places it can go to, if you get the right people behind it pushing it. At the last World Cup, uh, the England team actually made the final. So, you know, we've got some decent players uh, in the country. Just not a lot of people know about us or the sport.